a TV viewer, you can see the unbelievable sight. The helpless morons. We'll put it back on screen. Thank you. Our crew is in Janesville, Wisconsin. And you can see all the college students, the PhDs, the people with no future, worshiping Bernie Sanders, worshiping Hillary, running around with their anti-racism signs, all feeling good about themselves. Just extremely helpless, extremely gullible, extremely controlled by the mainstream media. They're to battle the evil racist who said that we should have sovereignty and shouldn't pay for everybody's free stuff. And if they won't vet the Muslims coming in, they should freeze it temporarily until the government does its job. People fly in and their IDs are not even looked at in many cases. That's mainstream news. And they think it's hateful to do it. And I'm sorry. I, I mean, can you imagine that group of people right there? I don't care if they're white, black, Hispanic. Look at the helplessness of those people. The dumbness. The pseudo-intellectualness. The well-meaningness is there. But they're just a bunch of idiots that want to celebrate their political correctness uh, out there together. Bigotry is the enemy, which only exists in white people, right? Right? This is a celebration of the hate of America and Western culture. No hate in our state. Women are human beings. Oh, he's so bad to women. Don't worry about the Muslim majority that keeps women like worse than dogs. That's okay. That, that's all right. We will trade Trump for refugees. Yes, bring in more jihadis. Like the refugee leader of a refugee program that blew up the airport and the train station. I mean, I can't wait to interview some of these people coming up in the next segment. I'm not a criminal, they say. Trump hates. They talk about bringing in all the refugees. I mean, these folks want some refugees. One Trump for 10,000 refugees. And she's just hopping up and down, self-loathing, wants a, I guess wants a hood over her head to be dragged off into some slave pit. Send her to Saudi Arabia. I'm not a criminal. I'm a dreamer. Can I dream? Can I go to Mexico and get free welfare and free college? Can I dream? Oh, I'm a gringo. I, and again, most Hispanics don't want free stuff. Upwards of 70%. In America, it turned out in polls who aren't even citizens don't want open borders. Mexico's got a wall with Guatemala, but it doesn't matter. Intellectual facts do not matter. Common sense does not matter. Let's hear some of the moron chanting. Can we fade this up? I'll go back to calls in a moment on the false flagging. Here it is. Trump's 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 Meanwhile, we're trying to stop the government shipping guns to Al-Qaeda and ISIS through Mexico that's killed 100,000 Mexicans. And so we get blamed for killing the Mexicans because our criminal government shipped them down there. The same ones that hate Trump. These people are helpless. They wouldn't even know what Fast and Furious was or Hegelian dialectic. And I'm not being elitist, but you watch MSNBC or CNN. It's all about how incredibly smart the left is. How they're just geniuses. Go out and talk to some at a university. It's like they've drunk a moron potion or something. Skype's breaking up. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go back to the calls here for just a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll continue on with uh, Simon and Cheshire and John and Cindy and Brandon and everybody else. Uh, let's go ahead, Dr. John in Wisconsin, who's up there. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how you doing? I'm doing all right, but looking at those anti-free speech protesters who've been, a lot of them, trying to break in and shut down the Holiday Inn. I mean, that's just a pack of authoritarian dumbos. Well, I see a guy there that thinks he's a Donovan wannabe uh, with the, uh, the uh, guitar there. I was watching I did see. I, I did see a wannabe beatnik, absolutely. Daddy-o. I, 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 I was watching the video while I was waiting. And I saw a guy reach over the uh, the uh, snow fences that they put up on the sidewalk and hand somebody a long rectangular piece of paper. And he looked at it, and they were talking. He folded it up, put it in his pocket, and they shook hands. Now, if that doesn't look like a payoff to me for being there, I don't know what does. Well, it's true that they bust most of these morons in from local colleges and give them a lunch and 20 bucks for the day. That's admitted. MoveOn.org admits they're doing that. Well, James Mill's got a jaded past anyhow. They're very racist over there, and there's a lot of white supremacists and stuff like that. 
uh, in Janesville well, and Madison. Really? Really there is? Well, I'll tell you this. I saw the white supremacists that have shown up in Belgium as the opposition to the Muslims, and they're a bunch of drunk idiots who want to act tough. That's why It's a bunch of gang members. The Muslims turn into their own racist cult. You say, well, it's not a religion. Yeah, but it's like an Arab thing. And then you got the white supremacists who look like a bunch of idiots. The Mexican supremacists, just a bunch of morons. And then they invoke all this. It just it makes me sick. I mean, I mean, look at this beatnik. I want to interview that beatnik when we come back. Thank you, John. We're going to go to the callers, too, but first we're talking to Rob Dew and crew. I want to talk to Ronald McDonald before he turned his hair red. The guy is a Ronald McDonald lookalike, a bozo the clown, literally. We'll be back. Infowars.com is where the resistance to tyranny starts. We're Broadcasting worldwide with our wonderful crew, making it all possible. You, the listeners, the affiliates, the sponsors across the country. God bless you all. Uh, Rob Dew has to change out cameras here in a minute. The battery's going down, so we're going to get, get as much of the interview as we can now. Uh, they are there in Janesville, Wisconsin, site of <coughs> where Trump is going to be speaking coming up in a little while. Uh, Rob Dew, tell us what's coming up, my friend. Yeah, this is Rob Dew reporting for, live from Janesville, Wisconsin, where the Trump rally is going to take place at this Holiday Inn Express to my left in about uh, two hours, three hours or so. He goes on at four. And so a lot of protesters have gathered up. Uh, this here individual here is Luke. He's been playing music for everybody. And uh, so, Luke, tell me why you're here. Uh, Donald Trump is a racist. Uh, that's clear and simple. He makes these uh, accusations about people that are purely false. And he scapegoats everyone. He scapegoats everyone. Ask what the accusations um, so are that are false. I mean, it, we can't have that type of thing in a presidential election. It's disgraceful to see, you know, I mean... That we have this guy who's making remarks. Do you have any specifics that you can give me? What do you mean? Oh, well, okay. For instance, he made that. He made. He made. Right. He's made comments no. about how he wants to, um, you know, patrol. Uh, or that was Ted Cruz, I think. But I think uh, Donald Trump said something similar. Yeah, you know, it's the same thing, I guess. It, it, okay, but come on now. It, he said um, we we will. He wants to stop immigrants coming in, and he makes these these. Remarks. He said he wants to vet immigrants. He said there's nothing wrong with having immigrants. He just wants to vet them. What? Oh, oh no, 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 no! He said, he said no, and I remember this. Okay. He said specifically, we're going to, we're going to shut down uh, immigration until we figure out what's going on. Exactly. Yeah, they're you not even checking that. the IDs. Of the head of Homeland Security and the FBI said we don't, we can't properly vet Syrian refugees coming into this country, and from other Muslim places. Italy just Muslim closed three of its borders with Albania. Explain yeah, well, this to the I, idiot. I don't believe. Is uh, Italy racist? The Homeland Security, they're scared of everyone, right? They're, I mean, they're looking at your emails, they're looking at my emails, like so. Okay, what about Macedonia? Just put up a border wall from for migrants. Macedonia, they just put up a border fence essentially to keep migrants coming out because they're being flooded and it's destroying their country. Does that does that make it okay? Well, that doesn't make him Ask racist. Ask the city if he has a front door. Ask him if he has a door. That doesn't that make him racist. But the comments that he are making. Ask him if he has a door. That's what they are. Now, I think what's going on is there's there's racial division being propagated by a man named George Soros, who you're you're spouting a lot of his talking points, unfortunately, and he's a billionaire. Oh, I and you're know. you're here against billionaires, but George Soros is a billionaire. George Soros. George Soros is. Yeah, sure. But is ask him if he has a front door. It's the same as the fence. Uh, George Soros and Donald Trump. No, they're just the same side they're two different sides of the same coin but does, you're does, but you're does, spouting his does, talking does, points does george soros care about immigrants no he doesn't but he doesn't he wants to have his no he wants to destroy the country oh he wants to destroy the country yeah. and donald trump doesn't no i don't think he wants to destroy the country really uh, are you employed right now or are you in school what i'm a i'm a high school student you're high school i think that you are um making comments that are very clearly like trying to make me look bad and no, that's I'm that's not. cool and that's cool i get it ask but ronald mcdonald I, I if he has a learn, door i have nothing i have no idea. Uh, ask if he has a door i think once again this is this does he have a door on his house you know uh is there a fence on his yard wealth and equality has gone up over the last 50 years immensely. And it's because of guys like George Soros and Donald Trump who take jobs out of America and put them into... Ask Actually, this... Bill Clinton helped take jobs I out of America. Ask this moron if he has a door on his house. No, he's a neoliberal Democrat. All right, um, Alex wants to know if you have a door on your house. Al Alex Jones is talking to you right there through that camera. He wants to know if you have a door in your house a door. or a fence in your yard. Um, I, I live with my I live with my parents. I'm 18. I'm in high school. Right. Is, but I mean, you have a door in your house, right? Is this what is this what is this what conservatives do? Is they they get on they get yeah, on we're there, liberals, dumbass. Happy. We're yeah, the real I mean, deal. We're here to save the country, punk. Care about people? We no, built it. My point is, if you we're have the a Renaissance, we did it all. You're an idiot. Keep uninvited people out. Correct. 
Sure. Okay. So then what's wrong with having that at your country? What? What's wrong with having that at your country? A door or a fence? A door or a fence? Yeah. It's the same concept. You're keeping people out that you don't want to invite why into don't your we, house. Why don't we want them here? Why don't we want them here? Because they're getting why? free tell stuff, me, Dumbo. Tell me, tell me, why don't we because, want them Because what they're doing is being brought here, and then they're giving lots of free stuff. They're and, giving lots of free yeah. stuff? Where's this magical free stuff coming from? You know, you know, You'll who, find out. Uh, you know who gets, you know who gets uh, all the free stuff? A lot you of corporations gets, do. Oh, yeah, a lot of corporations We're against do. that, too. I'm against okay. that, too. If you guys want to do this interview, that's cool. Just go over there, though, and not kind of be oh, right Oh, social back. justice warrior just came over and said, stop. I know. Let me Are see you her. Are handler here? No, Let me I'm see not. her. I'm just encouraging you to not stand in front of our sign, and you can do the interview somewhere. No, 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 we have free speech. Tell her we have free speech, dude. Stop it. No, we have free speech, yeah. too, which? Well, your sign's pretty big. He was playing. He, my boss wanted to interview him. He yeah, said, that's fine. I'm just asking you to move over. No, no, no. Stay there. Free speech. We're conservative asking dumb questions. Let's go down. Let's go down this way. I, uh, and they're going to try to run him off there. Now, watch. This will encourage them to run him off. Get ready. No, no, no. You're Submitting to the... <laughs> this is live TV, folks. Infowars.com. Right. show if you want to hey, see this. We're, we're live right now. So tell me about your sign. It says, give love, live peace. Do you know what sign you were carrying? Oh, this one? Oh, there you got that one. It's okay to hate things that are evil. Fascism is evil. I agree fascism is evil. Yeah, what about Hillary yeah. funding the radical Muslims? Fascism. Is that fascism? He spreads hate, and he says things like, we're going to win this with our Second Amendment rights. You can't tell me that's not threatening people. I'm not saying that. I think there's people there's people shooting people all the time, especially in people Chicago. I love came from Mexico. They don't need to be sent back. They don't need walls. I live in Texas. I have nothing wrong with Ask her if people attacking yeah, Donald Trump supporters is okay. The guy does not need to be our president. So is it, is it okay when people attack Donald Trump supporters? People can support what they want. I, I hey, dude, go back. They don't want you over there in front of the sign. Go over there and, and let them see how they do with the First Amendment. Because it shows that there's still racism you should, alive. I guarantee country. you they're about to say call over the muscle. They're about to hung out. There's still people that just hate. Got it. All right, well, thank you. All right, we're going to go over here. Yeah. We're gonna go stand <laughs> Look at these line. people, man. <laughs> Uh, they, look, they got the cops right there. They're trying to tell him what he can and can't do. We're going to run the Black Panther Party. <laughs> All right. Anyways, go interview some more of the folks there. Go back to Ronald McDonald. Right. Ask him, say, hey, ask him if McDonald's has given him a contract yet. No, nah, you know, I feel bad for this guy. He's a young kid. He doesn't really understand. No, I understand, dude. I'm just joking around. So, but, um. Let's see. Let's let's interview. But, but they're I'm calling Trump and everybody's supporter racist, so they're trying to shout us down. I want to let them know they're hey, you're live on the air right now. I am Vincent Perez. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you, Vincent. So why are you here, and what do you hope to gain out of all this? I'm here to make sure that, uh, number one, that we get our message across, that we are trying to keep the love and respect in our communities and try to make sure people aren't being honest. So, so ask them about Mexico having, having its own wall and, well and stronger and rules than we do. Why is Mexico allowed to have a wall? Do you know what happens if you're caught when you go to Mexico illegally? Uh, no, I haven't got really a whole lot of idea. They, they throw you in prison for a year, hard, hard labor. What's your point? Well, that's why we have borders. We were talking earlier about borders, right? Yeah. And why we have borders. Yeah. And if you just let everybody come in, then eventually it's going to tax the people that are, are actually paying taxes, paying for the resources that are going like your parents are doing and your parents' parents did build this country. You notice that the toll roads... Hey, hey, dude, talk to the girl that's gaga. Now, now, dude's married, lady. You can't have him. But to talk to the, talk to the 18-year-old girl. See that brunette right there? Talk to her. They say toll road on them. Hey, dude, talk to the brunette. My point is, though, they were built by federal money, and then they're taken by private companies, some of which are multinational companies. Like Mexico's actually having a lot. Yeah, they're owned by Spain, brother. So, like, you buy into his joke. Well, right, but we have to spread our. Talk to the girl, dude. Talk to the girl. Ask her why she's there. When Mexico is not a government that people have. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. So why are you here? It's just the same. I, I have a discomfort with, uh, I guess, Trump in particular. That is what I'm here for. And it's just an, uh, making sure that I can illustrate that in a peaceful way. I'm not, you know, I'm not looking to seek out anyone there. I, you know, and I don't want to shout at them. And I'm not going to assume, you know, I have my information and my beliefs. It might be wrong, too. So I'm just kind of a part of everything going on. So you don't have... You're not strong one way or another. You just decided to come out here. No, I mean, I I am strongly against Trump. That is why I am here. It is to show that discomfort. I just want to do it in a peaceful fashion so that constructive, man. constructive. And I I'm not shy. Ask her why not. she doesn't like I Trump. I want to be a part of the whole against Trump without you know and kind of like helping. So what's what's your biggest beef with Trump? 
Um, to me, it's just, it's kind of nerve wracking to see the way, like, he wanted to do our mass deportations, and I understand that, but just when I was hearing things like the wall he wanted to build, and even maybe labeling Muslims publicly, or, or they need an ID of some sort. And Ask her if she knows in most Muslim like countries, she had to wear a hood over her head. A lot of his policies might be a little too strong. Ask her if she's ever been to a Muslim country. That practical. Have you ever been to a Muslim country? No. You would have to wear a hood over your head if you were there. You don't have to. Well, it's actually a choice. You don't have to. They'll just kill you if you don't. Like Listen to this I idiot. Don't know. I don't know about Ask that woman with a feminist shirt behind her if she wants one of our big group of the rest of the Islam. I think in Qatar you can't either. And uh, Bahrain. There's, there's plenty of countries there. If you don't, they have a big problem with that. You may want to fix that. This is live coverage at uh, Janesville, Wisconsin. You're seeing the face of the... I got a guy hitting on me. Beautiful so. losers. There, there are a lot of uh, times in Muslim history that have been like very reasonable. Yeah, well, this wearing, ain't it, brother. Not wearing burqas, in fact. Not like, since uh, Saudi Arabia haunts uh, showed it. There was a lot of history uh, regarding actually a lot of. Well, ask me if we got a time machine because we, you know, so we, we don't want to go back to the Inquisition either, you know. Like, all Muslims make all women wear burqas. It's actually a contentious debate. There's a lot of... Well, they uh, say white people blow up Oklahoma City. It comes from people who wear the burqa instead of the niqab. Uh, there are some people who, like, see that as too conservative. It's just like our politics. Like, some of those who wear the full headdress... Uh, full Tell them about the Aztecs as human sacrifice. Is just any culture the same? You know, a specific and Other than gun owner culture, that's got to be dealt with. All right, I ask, ask her if she's got anything else. This guy's a moron. What, 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 do you, what do you want me to ask? No, just okay. tell him. Ask him if he likes drinking fluoride. All right. All right. What do you think of fluoride in the water supply? Fluoride in the water supply? Uh, I think it's a signal that our government needs to be paying a little bit more attention to uh, the safety of all communities, and especially the poor ones who cannot afford all of the infrastructure. So if fluoride's so good for your teeth, why do they... Yeah, fluoride's going help you. <laughs> If fluoride's so good for your teeth, why do they want you to drink it? Helpless idiots, I, man. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, fluoride. Fluoride in the water. They say it's for your teeth. Oh, fluoride, right? Yes, yes. Brainwash. What do you mean? Why? Why? What do you mean? Why is it so good to drink? Because I'm a biochemist, so I actually have a lot of. Oh, like, you're a biochemist. I've, I've interviewed biochemists. Yeah. As you with hydrofluorosilicic acid like, or sodium fluoride. Something they believed was. Uh, helpful to our health much like uh, like a lot of so do you know what hydrofluorosilicic acid is uh do you know like dihydrogen monoxide is? yeah, that's yeah sure that's water punk. hydrofluorosilicic acid is the what the fluoride that they call what they put in our water supply and it comes from the uh, byproducts of fertilizer manufacturing sure so like how toxic you, waste weasel it's good for your teeth yeah so it doesn't really what's your point no even the feds have so said take it out jackass that do that also tell you that you should that Trump is racist, Trump is xenophobic. It's the same talking points that are going. Yeah, it is. It's the same people. That's not. Yeah. Are you are you arguing that like uh, complicated sounding chemicals are things you shouldn't eat? No. I'm arguing that you should not put hydrofluorosilicic acid into your body, saying it's good for your teeth. Yeah, but that has Be just to because do it. it has to do with the chemical and. No. Now even the American Dental Association says take it out. No, there's plenty of people that say it causes brain damage and IQ. Harvard, Harvard. Why did you bring up the farm, like, specifically? You got to, like, it's like, if that's so, that's just a product of health research. We do not always know everything <laughs> at once. They're, they're oh, they listening. knew. They knew, brother. All right, enough of this guy. Go show us more stuff. Enough of this guy. should have it removed, but... Thanks for talking with me, brother. All right, let's go talk to somebody else. Hey, give us a pan of the entire group. All right. Give us a pan of the police, everything. Show us where Trump's going to be speaking. These folks stormed the hotel yesterday. A bunch of them were arrested. Yeah, in fact, one of the guys who was arrested is back out. We saw him earlier in the in the middle of the crowd. Bigotry so is the enemy. These people just want to feel good, hate everybody. Do you want to go march through the crowd back at the back, maybe? Um, yeah, we probably have to go around over. Yeah, we probably have to go over this way. But we can hey, hey, go over, go over and talk to that. Uh, through here. What's that? No, no, do do. Go, yeah. go the other way. Oh. Go try to find that minder that was telling you you didn't have any free speech. Where is she? Right there in front of you? Ask her her views. She's in a public protest. All right. Again, we're not being mean to them, folks. They're storming the event and stuff. These groups have been Soros-funded, Hillary-funded. They've been caught trying to violate. Let's talk to this moron. No hate in our state. No hate in our state. I don't think she's going to talk. Well, let's hear her. She's so intellectual. That woman is smart, no, man. She's an empowered woman. Look at her. No hate in our state. I can tell you a little bit about myself. If you
you want. Sure. Yeah. A lot of people have been <laughs> like uh, GM and other companies that have left this area and taken away a lot of the jobs, which I think is why you have a lot of disenfranchised people okay. instead of blaming Donald Trump for it, who's actually employed people. Well, I'm here as a white woman and a mother of two white sons, and I don't want to raise my sons in a world shaped by racism and violence. And that's the kind of message that Donald Trump has used to empower himself and his base. Ask her if she knows about tribalism and other groups and if she understands why we have nationalism. And I absolutely do not want my family or my sons as white people to As white people, as bad people. Where white people are manipulated into being divided from our neighbors. Ask her if she thinks white people are the problem, historically, if other people are tribal. So you think white people are the main problem? No, I do not. I, I don't think I'm the main problem, but I absolutely am if I'm silent. I will not be silent. Well, no, tell her more. Tell us more about how other people aren't tribal. Get these votes. You done? Ah. I think she's done. No, no, let her keep going. Let's hear the little commie chants and the idiot chants. I mean, dude, this is pathetic. Ooh, ah. Booby, 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 ba. Ooh, ah. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, uh, but that's about it. Has it been too much? There's some people talking in between the fence over here, Alex. There's a, a fence keeping the protesters apart with about a five uh, foot barrier. And so there has been some talk back and forth earlier today. It's definitely grown a little more divided as it's gone on. And I think it's probably going to beef up as soon as Donald hey, gets here. About you think we ought to go talk to some of the Donald Trump supporters? Hey, you want to interview the Easter Bunny? You're going to love this one, Alex. I, and I think he's a fan. <laughs> All right, go back and talk to that guy who's like a security guard. Oh, no, you got to see, you got to meet the Easter Bunny. All right, we're live on TV. So tell us why you're here. Uh, well, I'm, I'm here to see the side of sanity here. I wanted to see how many Democrats were around and how many people were, like, for real going to vote for Trump. Yeah? Yeah. So what, what's your impression, then, of what's, what you see right now? I don't know. It's pretty peaceful. Um I, I saw some people trying to instigate earlier. It was people from Trump's camp, but, you know, nobody's falling for it. Ask him if he's ever taken LSD. Trump people are the problem. Trump supporters. Uh, I, no, I mean, I, I just... I just think they don't know what's going on. Um, I mean, I really don't understand how you could be behind that and sell the presidency and support half of the garbage that he talks. Hey, ask him why the power elite the worldwide so and the communist Chinese are Trump. against him. Like you see it from both sides. You see the Republicans and the Democrats hate him. Wouldn't that make you just want to pause for some? Maybe this guy is talking some sense at some on, you know, several levels. No, he's not speaking. Ask this guy what he thinks of the Manson family. Actually, I have a conspiracy theory that Hillary paid him to run just because months ago it was a joke that's what i thought a year ago to talk America. yeah you know what actually we thought that too but he has brought out her husband's sex capades which i think is pretty damaging to what she's doing right now well yeah i suppose so i mean i i wouldn't vote for ask him what he thinks of charlie manson you know, actually actually trump trump uh when he started, it was sort of like a protest <laughs> run as a candidate. I think yes. he was surprised at the number of Ask people. Ask him if he takes off. LSD in that I, outfit. I thought it was a joke. Um, I really did. I, but Wisconsin, for example, obviously there is there's a history here of people voting against their better interest. Okay. Um, All right, thank so you. Alex wants to know if you uh, if you take LSD in that bunny suit and what do you think of the Manson family? Who? Alex Jones, you're live right now. Oh, hey, Alex, how you doing? Good, we're doing well. He's never doing well. I, I, no, no, no. I'm not on drugs, and I no, I'm not a Manson fan. Are, are you employed? What's your job? What do you do? Uh, I'm an artist. You're an artist? Yeah. Does that surprise you? No, not at all. Show some of your signs. Let me ask him this: Who's more handsome, Emperor Palpatine or uh, or Darth Vader? My favorite Ben Franklin quote. Oh yeah, he's got a Ben Franklin quote. All right, who's your who's more handsome, Emperor Palpatine or who was the other one? Who was the other one, Alex? Darth Vader. Oh, who's more handsome, Emperor Palpatine or Darth Vader? Alex Jones. Oh, he's Alex Jones. <laughs> All right. You won, Alex. You oh, won. my gosh. This is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, ask him this. Doesn't he see that Trump is a populist manifestation just like Sanders is? Whether you support him or not, the power structure is right. against him. All right. Uh, I kind of asked him that before. but so, uh, what, so right now it looks like there's a left and a right populist candidate. We got Trump and Sanders. Sure. Why do you think that is? You think someone uh, – you let me know. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I don't know. I, I, this is the first election in a long time where there's been a full swing of the pendulum. Uh, you know, we had we had eight years of the far right with with Bush, the Bush dynasty continuing. And 
Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I kind of think that our present administration is very centrist at best. Uh, there were a lot of things. There were a lot of things that the president, President Obama could have done. He should have done. And he didn't. He, he played it safe, you know, and I get that. like droning kids. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, Tell the Easter Bunny, great. Go talk to the guy in the red shirt. There's a guy in camo back behind it. Let's talk to them. Over there. Over there and then over there. As if you can see me right now. This is live coverage of the bedlam going on at the Donald Trump rally in Janesville, Wisconsin. Talk to that Freulein right there. The woman behind you, dude. I think we're about to lose battery, but we'll go until we... Uh, hey, do you want to tell me why you're here? Um, to protest. Yeah? Do you know who you're protesting? Trump. Why? Because he's an asshole. Oh. <laughs> I hope y'all bleep that. No, no that's on, okay. On she can say that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> it's okay. So why is he bad? Just the mainstream media that tell tells me, you tell so? Me why he's bad. Um, he's racist. Um, that's racist. what everybody said today. Everybody said he's racist. Same media that tells <laughs> you about lottery about tickets tells you that. Um, he employs people? I think he's a lot better of a person to answer your question. Can't talk to you. There's so intellectual. Can't her, talk to her you. Handler doesn't want We're not a talk. protest to be on national All media. Right, it's acting good. cool right now. It's for my Facebook. It's looking intellectual uh, right now. Said, don't talk to her. Good man. folks, man. Uh, all right, we're going to make our way into the crowd. Let's see what goes on here. We're going to go until the battery dies. Turn this way, kid. Hey, what's up? Hey, oh, hold on. Turn this way. Turn this way. We don't care. Hey, what? What's up? So. Is we well, hate? We don't need hate right now. Why do you think he's hating? Because Obama's just not getting his back. You know, I mean, you know. Because who? Obama is yeah. just not getting the country back right. You think so? Yeah. You look think at, the economy's doing better now? Look at the statistics. I don't know. You think the economy's doing better? You tell look me at, the statistics. Look at the statistics. What's the unemployment rate? He's gonna, he's gonna come back. Um, you know, the unemployment rate for black people is double what it used to be well, under hey. Obama. But guess what? Obama's having to cut the gas prices um, going down. When yeah, did the last time they be that, that low? That's I think the it depression. has to do more with the price of oil uh, from Saudi Arabia. They're cutting production. I mean, you... And has... Increasing production. So Obama ain't helping. They're, they're increasing. Is Obama production. helping or not? Did he help? Did he change? Did he do better? No, I don't think he was trying to make it. I don't think he was trying to help at all. Oh, he just wanted to be on TV up there. The what do you think? I don't know. Well, we're, not for, to, we're not. We're not. Listen. I think, I think he signs a list every day, and they bomb people with drones, and he does it. Um, they kill families. They kill wedding parties. They kill children. Have you seen the children that you, have been killed you're, by you're drones? You're in the right country. You're in America, so that's your, that's your opinion. That's yeah. my opinion. Yeah. You know. Oh, I know. So we no, no. Our government funded ISIS. Whatever you think, it don't matter to me. I know Trump don't need to be in office. What do you think? Opinion, hey, what's matter. that horn? Hey, dude, 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 dude. Yeah. So, Tell him thank you. I want to hear this horn. Who's who's blowing the horn? Dude, that's enough. I want to go talk to those people down there. The horn, the horn blowers. Yes, let's go talk to the horn blowers. All right, let's go talk. Folks, this is all brought to you by InfoWarsLife.com and Hillary for President shirts because Benghazi and Fast and Furious are reasons for it. Take action today and fund the tip of the spear in the info war. Your financing due. Wallowing around with these people. So, how do you like how do you like horn blowing? I actually, I'm getting back in shape from my French horn days of high school. So you're an old pro. I am an old pro, yeah. So tell me why you hate Trump. Uh, he has no foreign policy. He absolutely hates women. I, if everybody who... Yeah, he was against funding by ISIS. The way he treated the journalist with a he doesn't want war with Russia for no anyone reason. Anyone who's handicapped in their life, if Cat, anyone Cat, has Cat, a what are these people saying? We don't have in their life, if anyone knows somebody of first generation Mexican or other immigrant, um, you know, how can you possibly support this man? He has no policies that make any concrete sense. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's Ask this fraud. lady why countries are allowed to have borders, but we can't. He has no why can't we have borders, but everybody else can't? Put a seven point plan out. Well, you why, know why can't we I have borders? That, Ask you know her what? if she has a door on her house. Are you on Obamacare right now? No, I'm not. Ask her Actually, if she has a door on her house. I'm a hired person who pays part of my own insurance. Ask her if she has a door on her house. Working for 33 years for the same company. Does she have a door right. on her house? So we're live on TV right now. Uh, Alex wants to know if you have a door on your house. Do I have a door on my house? Of course I do. I have many doors on my house. All right. Do you have a fence in your yard? I do not have a fence. She doesn't have a fence, but she has a door. Yes, I do. Right. The countries so have to have door doors. So a door keeps out un uninvited people, right? Correct. Okay.
And I have a large dog as that, well. Oh, a large dog. Yes, okay. she does breed. So that's essentially what a border is. Right, I understand that. Right. How many of the people come over here are actually buying like causing harm? I would say not not the majority of them, but the ones that are, we need to deport. I believe in I believe in borders, but I do not believe in a wall. Well, Obama's gotten rid of it. The, the oh, you people Trump are idiots, man. So Obama dumb. is doing a good job at killing the border. As well as the fact that he has no. Oh, look, she's yelling at you. Look at this pea brain. Talk to pea brain. You build a ten foot wall, they're going to be selling eleven foot ladders. I think he just said it's going to get ten feet higher. I don't want to stand on your sign. Obviously, that's a stunt to say it. The point is, you got to have some like border. That can be solved by a wall, even if it were a problem. We're not bordering Switzerland, lady. So you don't think? How many people do you know that come here illegally? Only 34 percent of the illegals that come here come here illegally. What? Yep. How many people? Ask her if I can go to Mexico illegally. Ask her if Mexico has walls. Well, oh, what if I go to Mexico illegally? Are they going to accept me? Yeah, my stepdad just moved to Mexico eight months ago. And you do it legally. We're going to be back in 70 seconds. We're going to keep rolling during the deal. Oh, so she says Mexico doesn't have a border. You heard her. You can just go there. Not true. Can't have babies for free. Infowars.com. Stay with us. Wow, we're getting into the Christian hymns here today. I apologize. Infowars.com. I'm Alex Jones, your host. And Rob Dew has come back in. His Skype has reoriented. And he's here to give us a final transmission before... David Knight, back from on the road on the East Coast covering the Trump events, is with us. Here's my deal. I don't completely trust Trump. He says stuff I disagree with, but the hysteria and misrepresentation over everything he says with the war crimes of Hillary and the evil of Obama and the neocon Republicans, the man has a saintly record compared to them. And he isn't a hypocrite about women or anything else like Cruz. I am down for Trump just to be anti-establishment and pro-populist. Rob Dew, what do you say from Janesville, Wisconsin? All right, his mic is not in, his mic's internal, not external. Plug your mic in. Dew is doing such a great job. And hey, even mainstream media doesn't have, you know, tech that works this good. We're doing great with Skype. Yeah, uh, I, I hear you, go ahead. All right, you know, people talk about Trump's past or where he did this or that. Bernie Sanders used to write smut porn and talk about how, like, women like to be raped. They like to fantasize about that. So, what's up, man? Hey, yeah, talk to this guy. I want to talk to him. The thing is, we can't Ask him how he's doing. Go ahead. If we have disagreements, we can all, like, get along and be civil. So, that's one thing that is going on here today, Alex, is that it's been very civil. These people are misguided, and I feel bad for them, but that's about all you can do at this point. Well, Trump's coming up, what, in about two hours? Saying all lives matter, which is good. So, wait, something is working. Trump's coming up in two hours? Two hours. He'll be here at four o'clock. Uh, I I don't even want you to get in there and cover him. I mean, you can't be one. I want you to cover these people. Yeah, no, I think it's going to get really heated about about the time he gets here. So we'll be here covering that. I've been putting up reports all day. I've got a lot more stuff shot that I just haven't had time to upload, but we'll be uploading that. Kid Daniels has been shooting. Uh, He's done a great job. Knight, the articles sure. are up on Infowars.com. Hey, sure dude, what about asking him why they get hysterical about the word Trump written on chalk? Maybe you should get chalk yeah. and write it in front of him and see if they have a heart attack. <laughs> All right, I'll see if we can do that. That's a good idea. I did ask a couple people about that, and uh, you know, it's definitely getting louder. Oh, see, they had to change it. Somebody came up, it was this lady here, and told him to change it to Black Lives Matter. Let's go find out if she's she told Black you Lives what? Matter. She told him to change. Hey, can I talk to you real quick? Sure. So. They were just saying all lives matter, and then it said, did you go up there and tell them to just say black lives matter? Oh, no. No, okay. I said we do each one. Oh, you do each one? Yeah, Okay. all lives matter. Right. Well, you never know. Nah, off me, baby. Well, tell her, some people say it's racist yeah. to say all lives matter. Hey, if well, I can talk to you. If you, you don't want to talk? Enough, you noticed they were standing before I went over there? I saw the all lives matter. I heard it. And that's when I thought they switched. I thought you went over there and, and yeah, took it Yeah, because all lives do matter. I agree. All, all lives, lives do matter. matter. Yeah. Ask her if they get scared if they see the name Donald Trump. Because I get scared their signs say Trump. I need a psychologist. She's got a sign that says you're fired. That kind of scares me. I don't ever want to be fired. But, yeah, they definitely uh, have learned how to shut down uh, any type of discourse between people. And um, Do you know yeah. you're not getting fired? No, I know. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> We're going to have you set up on a big pink pillow in the control room. Like a royal <laughs> creature. You just... Ah, yeah. It's this has been uh, very interesting. It's definitely. Uh, I see you're I not a golfer. Build. 
because there's four, there's three more events, Alex. There's two tomorrow and one Saturday, and there may be even more. He's talking about going to Madison, Wisconsin, which is a liberal hotbed. So that would be huge. I think if you All right, listen, there, we're out of time. Him. David Knight's coming up. I want you to have him introduce, continue on, as long as your battery goes. Now you got to get recharged, sure. you know, their batteries and stuff. But Rob, do a great job. We'll follow your work and all the videos you're about to upload in HD, InfoWars.com.